Hi guys, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and welcome to another crafty video. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update of what I've been doing lately because I really haven't been making videos. I've been doing a lot of actual work for work at night. It's been a little crazy and I've been super behind with that and haven't really been, wasn't really feeling that great for a couple of days so didn't really do crafting stuff so I tried to craft a little bit last night and the Cricut wasn't working so I came back down tonight because my sister's best friend had sent me a message and she wanted to do memory ornaments for her mom of her grandmothers. So I don't know if they're for her to give to her mom in memory of her grandmothers or her mom was wanting them. So either way, she gave me a bunch of different ornaments. And then this is the ornament that I didn't end up using because this just has like the um, top that just comes off. And it's really hard to get anything in here besides like the little fake snow or stuff like that or glitter. These would be perfect for like glitter ornaments but that's not great for putting pictures in there unless you just kind of like fold it up and it doesn't always sit right. It's not as easy. So she gave me three of those. So she put some feathers in that one because that's actually what she wanted to do. She wanted the feathers in the memory and then there's a picture of her grandma in this one like a real tiny one but again it's hard to get pictures in here. So she gave me the, let me find the one without the picture. I don't want to put that. She gave me this kind of ornament to see if I could put this poem on. So I thought before I saw the poem, before I saw any of it, I'm like, yeah, sure, I can do it with vinyl. It'll just regular vinyl, not HTV. I'm like, that'll be really, really easy. Yeah, sure, I can do it. And then I saw the size ornament and I saw the length of the saying that she wanted on there. So this is the saying that she wanted. So you can see it's kind of long. So I cut it out tonight and the letters were like falling off. So they were so tiny that I actually ran my hand over it and the, all the letters just like, actually I think I, I still have one on. <laughs> see, that's like the middle of, it's either like the middle of an O or the part of an E. So that's how tiny the letters were. So I still, still I can't believe I still have one on me. I can because I always feel like I do but anyway so super super tiny and there was no way I could get that done so I sent her a message and I'm like I feel so terrible and it's not her fault she hired me to do this job and I needed to figure it out so she said to me well can you just do a nicer tag than the one that was on there I'm like of course I can I can do that but I didn't want to give up because I felt like there had to be a way that I could do it so I was thinking and I thought what uh vinyl vellum so I picked up a piece of the like clearish, I guess, white vellum that I had, and I used this precision pen from, this is American Crafts. So I got a pack, I think, of three or four of these for pretty inexpensive at Michael's when they were on sale or on clearance or something like that. And these do fit nicely into the Cricut Explorer. At least they did in mine. So I used that. And I was so happy with the way it came out. The first one, I cut the circle a little bit too big. So these are three inch ornaments and I cut the circle, the vellum circle to 2.89 and it like just fits in there. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that so cool? And the letter, the font is Apple Ch Chancery, Chancery, something similar to something like that and I thought it was really pretty because it's very similar to the style that's here you can see that oops um and here it is here and then I'll show you the one without the pictures in it because I don't really want to show you the pictures of her grandmother I don't want to share pictures of her family on here but then this one there's there's no pictures in this one she just gave me um a blank one this one was actually wrapped still and I just put more of the feathers in here so obviously they're going to take some of the feathers out and put a picture of the grandmom in here uh, I did three of them. If she gets me more, I said I told her I would do more because they were fairly simple. Now that it's all set up, it's really not hard for me to reproduce it. It took maybe about five minutes per ornament, and I was just so happy with the way it came out. So I took pictures. I'm going to post them on Instagram. I'm going to post just the um, oh, cats. Sorry, the cats are fighting. They just jumped. She just he walked by, and she just pounced on him. Um, I'm just gonna it's just a picture of the actual or the saying I didn't again I didn't share pictures of her family on there so so excited so I think she's probably gonna come tomorrow and pick them up I use this kind of as a guide this is the photo ball you're actually just supposed to cut the photo down to like the size 
Um, but if they want to give me the pictures, I can actually do that where I cut it down to the 2.89 so it can fit like right nicely on the other side of the vellum. So that's up to them if they want to do that. That's one thing that I've been up to. So excited about that. Uh, I did a bunch of aprons. I did a video on that a couple back. I did some aprons for a craft fair and then I posted them on Instagram and a girl that I went to college with had actually sent me a message and asked me to make four of them, three for her kids and one for her mom. And I think last weekend or maybe this weekend, they're baking cookies. So I'm actually going to, I think I'm actually going to do some for us, um, having my mom and my sisters and my nieces over to make cookies. Um, I invited my aunt, but she, I don't think she's going to come. I don't think she can make it. So I just thought that would be cute. We would all have like little matching aprons and then can make cookies. And I have all this cookie stuff and so um, they, I'm sure the kids will love it because the girls love being together and they love making a mess and I'm sure that this is going to be messy so anyway so I've been doing that um, I've also still been working on Christmas cards and I'm so far behind so I just wanted to show you guys real quick now if you saw the, I have the background stamp sitting right here this is the Simon Says background stamp I don't know exactly what it's called but you can actually take some of these pieces out so you can actually take this little middle out and do a ring like this and I did one of those or you could take the center piece out and just have it like this and then have a wreath in the middle with all the Christmas um, icons around it so these go back together fairly easily it's just sitting on my desk I can't find the packaging for it right this minute I think look a little piece. I don't know if that's the same piece or if that's a different piece, but I'm telling you that the pieces were all over the place. And anyway, so this is what it looks like on a, this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of watercolor paper. And I used these flexible brush markers that are at um, Hobby Lobby. I know I did see a 36 one one of the last times I was in there and I was so mad because I got the 24 and I don't want to get the 36 because I already have the 24 I could always return them but I've actually used these so I won't do that um so they have they had a 36 last time I was there they did not have it they had it the time before so they just randomly have the 36 I guess but there's not three different kinds of 12 packs they do it. They have a 12 pack, a 24 pack, and a 36 pack. But the 12 pack is only one set of colors, so it kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I can't add to it unless I get the 36. But those are okay. I'm not really loving them, but I tried to color this, and I'm really not loving the way that it came out. I love the way that it was stamped. And what I may do is there. Oh, I did another one. I actually did three of these. Let me just see real quick if I have. Oh, here it is. So what I was thinking about doing, this is super cute. I was going to, it's the exact size of this puzzle die and I thought what I could do is cut this puzzle die and then actually run this through my cuddle bug with the embossing mat so that it embosses it onto a piece of cardstock, like a thick piece of cardstock, and then they could use that as the base and then the kids could color this in and they could have their own little like puzzle. And then the other thing that I was thinking was how cute would it be to be in here, have this, let's see, does this, this does fit on here. So you could emboss it onto here, have this be the background, and then have all the pieces in this little gift bag. So you could keep all the little pieces in there. So you could give a gift card, you could give it like this, so you could put a gift card on the back of that. There's so many different things you could do. So I just thought that would be a super cute idea. I have all these ideas, but really no time to execute them. So I think that's what I may do, maybe like for my nieces or something, maybe for their Christmas cards. Maybe I'll do, because um, you know, they like puzzles and things like that. So anyway, this is supposed to be a short video and it's a lot of me talking. So those are just some of my ideas for Christmas cards. I did cut out this really, really pretty piece of um, glitter cardstock 
and I just don't know what to do with it. Like I cut these pieces out and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. What do I do with it? So I'm trying to figure out what to put behind it because it's so sparkly. And what I really should have done was cut this out in another color and then put glitter paper behind it instead of doing it in glitter paper. It doesn't, it cuts through glitter paper, but you have to poke a lot of the stuff out and it took me a little while to do it. So this is the MFT die that I used to do that, the snowflake. So it's very, very pretty though, person. And then I use the Sunny Studio Stamps die for the ugly sweater. How funny is this? So look, and there's even a little bow tie. So there's the piece that cuts out here, then the V-neck, and then I was gonna put this little bow tie on there and maybe do like a little border on there too. Again, another card I haven't finished. I don't know if I showed this one too. This one's from Sunny Studio Stamps, and this is one of the alpaca ones. I did a lot of masking. Um, I cut this out. This is one of the long cards that fits in the letter size envelopes, and I did not have a die that cut across, so I kind of just used the die and continued. You can see it there a little bit, but it doesn't bother me that much. And then I did all the mountains. I did a lot of masking for that, and then I masked them off, and then did snowflakes at the top that were in that set, and then just used some distress inks at the top. So, and I used Copic markers for to color in all the alpacas. I just thought that was really cute. So I can't remember if I showed that to you or not. And then again, I did a lot of masking with this card. This is the Mom Elephant. I think this is a couple different sets. Um, I apologize, I don't know the sets off the top of my head. I'll have to get them for you guys. And just used a bunch of those sets and colored them in with Copic markers. I used some of the, uh, I'm trying to think, the Nouveau Glitter, not Nouveau Glitter, uh, the Nouveau Crystal Drops on there, the clear ones. And then so you can see here, and then so a little bit of Winka Stella on the hat underneath of it, so just really pretty details. This one I used two different stamp sets. One is from Sunny Studio Stamps and the other one is from MFT. This is from MFT and this is from Sunny Studio Stamps. My aunt loves foxes so I'm pretty sure that I'm going to give this one to her. I thought this one was cute. Send that to her. And then I used the MFT die set. I believe it was a dynamic set. The Santa belt set. And look at how cute this came out. So this is not texture paste. This is like the glitter Let's see if I have it on my desk. I don't think so. I think I put it back, which is unusual. Oh, no. It's right here. <laughs> so this is the Sparkle Texture Effect Paste that I got from Michaels a long time ago. This is when the other Michaels by me was closing, and the babies were still in the stroller, so it was probably a couple years ago. It was probably like two, probably like two years ago. But I use this very sporadically, and I just love the way it came out. I know that it's a little bit yellow, but it gives it a lot of texture and dimension and it's so cool in person. And then I use the foil paper to do the belt. Like, look at how cool that I love this one. So I'm gonna put this on a card front. And then this is two Simon Says, I just Simon Says Stamp, uh, used, some, used a Simon Says Stamp Elf set to do these two. Okay, so this is on watercolor paper, and I used cop uh, not Copic markers, cheese. I used Distress Ink to color them in. So I used the same, kind of the same color combination. This one has a glass of milk because there was a little bit more space than there was up here. And then I used the banner die, in, or the banner stamp in between, and then just stamped the sentiment. And I just thought they were super, super cute. Just practicing some watercolor. So those two are going out. I was trying to do a different one for everybody, but I just felt like if I was watercoloring, I might as well do two at once and just get it over with. And no one's going to know if they get the same card as somebody else. I just, in my mind, I wanted to do something different for everybody, but seeing that it's almost the middle of December and I really need to get the cards out this weekend. Yeah, I better get going. So this is a small Sunny Studio stamp set that I just used a circle die with some, this is just some like cream cardstock, but I thought it looked awesome as the moon. And I just kind of bent the stamp a little bit so that it would have a little bit of an arch going through and just did it in black and I just thought that looked so awesome. This is like a dark navy cardstock from Michaels and this is actually pretty thick. Um, I should The difference between this and this is, this is pretty heavy. So I'm not even sure what weight this is, but I took some 
Distress inks and ink the top up like I use black soot up here And then I used some dusty Concord and I used some of the I think some maybe some blueprint sketch on this to kind of make the the um, Sky a little bit darker in areas and then I just took some white distress uh, distress ink and use the stamps that came in that set and just did the back for the stars and then just kind of there were random sizes and just like stamped them all over Oh, sorry about the light that light um, and I don't know if you can see at the bottom try to say can you see the trees so that's it and I just stamped them higher and lower I just kept going up and down they're just a like four maybe four or five trees and just stamp the whole bottom of it so it looked like it was the sky I just I thought this one came out really really cute this is one of my favorites now if I had to pick a favorite this is absolutely my favorite card and now I have to try to figure out who it goes to so because I always have like one card of the year that's my absolute favorite and I kind of want to keep it last year I did let me show you it's actually the one that I did for MFTs um, they had a challenge last year and I was like obsessed with this so and I kept this card and a couple people actually asked for it but I decided to keep it it's like a tri it's a trifold card so here's the front of the house I have a thing with like fronts of houses I'll show you in a second and then you open it up and there's the living room window and there's Santa coming down the chimney with some of the stockings and then you open up this side and the moose is sitting there waiting and Merry Christmas on the little um, wall hanging and then there's the little tree there is that not that this is like my I think this is the absolute favorite card that I've ever ever made and I kept it <laughs> so I just thought it was super cute anyway I'll put that back up there this I absolutely love the way this turned out so let me show you guys so this is a five by seven card which is a little unusual for me I don't usually make cards this big but this is a huge die set I actually posted this up on my Instagram my sister-in-law was so funny she was like I really thought it was a door at first and I'm like well I love you for saying that because that means that it looks super realistic so these are some honeybee dies and I absolutely honeybee is like one of my new favorite companies I definitely will have to do a companies I love review on honeybee stamps because I'm really really loving them I do have to do Concord and Knife too because I love them as well and they have such innovative dyes but honeybee is really becoming another favorite of mine so this one is there's two different dyes associated with this but I didn't use the other dye like kind of layers on top of it so you can do a dark and a light portion of the door but what I did use was the cutouts from that to do the inset panels here which I think turned out so amazing. And then and this is just um, craft color cardstock. And then I used some Distress Oxide, Distress Oxide or Distress Ink, I can't remember. One of them uh, in Ground Espresso. It must be Distress Ink because I don't have the Distress Oxide. Maybe I do. I don't know, I can't remember, sorry guys. But I used one of the two of those to go around this and I absolutely love it. That same gold foil that I used for Santa's belt, I used on the doorknob. There's two different doorknobs, there's a round one and then there's this fancy one and I love this fancy one. And the cutest part of this is that this little mail slot actually opens. Look at that, it's so cute. And then there's the envelope in here that I put in here. I think maybe, did I do a video on this? I feel like I might have. Now that I'm talking about it, I feel like I might have so. But anyway, I'm showing it again. And then I did the wreath. I actually think I did. I think I did it when I did this card. So sorry guys if you're seeing this again, but I'm just super proud of this card. This is my absolute favorite. And then I used the wreath die and I just, and then I filled it with the actual leaves. It's really a sparse die. And then you can put these leaves on top of it if you want to. And then I used some red stickles to put the berries in there. I haven't done anything on the inside, but this is like my absolute favorite. Then I use this. This can be used as a threshold at the top or it can be used as steps. Absolutely love it. And this is kind of like, I think, like I said in the other video, um, this is kind of what looks like the threshold over my door. So I really, really love this. I could have done it at the top, but I decided to do it as steps. So that's some of the cards. And then I showed you some of the other. I showed you guys ones that I already made. I might have even showed you some of these ones today. Um, and then these ones are just, I'll show you real quick. I think I showed this one before. This is uh, Sunny Studio Stamps. This one is Mama Elephant, and I just have to color in the elves, and I have to figure out what to do in the background. I can't figure that out yet. 
Then I stamp these two out and I still have to color these in. That'll probably be tomorrow's project. These are MFT and look at how cute that is. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. And then I'm gonna start assembling cards, see how many I have, and then start sending at least those ones out. Some of the f ones that have to go far away. Some of the ones that I can either hand deliver or people that I'm gonna see over the next week or so, I'll probably just give them theirs. I'll probably do them this weekend and just give them to them um, because it's probably faster than mailing them. Anyway, that was like 20 minutes of me rambling about a lot of different things, but that's what I've been up to. It's been kind of crazy here. I can't believe Christmas is almost here. I just did some wrapping last night. I actually am doing gift bags, and I'll have to show you them once they're done, and they're so cute. So I designed some of them. I designed one for each of the girls, the twins, and my other biological niece, I did bags for them and they're all the same and then they just have their names on them. They're just different color dresses. And then I got them a container from, it's just like a 12 by 12 scrapbook container and filled it with craft supplies so that they each have their own one. And then I'm going to take vinyl and put their name on them so that they can each have their own little like craft box and then I wrapped their a lot of their gifts last night so and then some other ones I got Nora clothes so I have uh, another gift bag to make for her I got some for the new ba some stuff for the new baby so I have to make bags for that I got them actually my goddaughter was with me and we picked out matching um, pajamas for the girls which is well not matching, but very, very similar ones. And uh, my goddaughter, it was my goddaughter's idea, and she loved it, which is so funny because she and her sister, like, I don't think she would ever be caught dead wearing matching pajamas with her sister. But she, I thought it was really cute. She was looking for stuff for the new baby and for Nora, and she was like, these would be so adorable. So I did, um, I have some stuff to wrap for that. I think I'm done wrapping everyone's presents, but just kind of have to do some gift bag stuff, so that's it. I know this is a lot of rambling and me just showing you guys stuff. Um, hopefully I will be back soon with an actual crafting video to show you guys some new techniques and some of the stuff that I've been doing. If you want to see anything that I've showed you guys um, on how to make it, like a how-to, let me know and I will make one. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.